hello everyone so in this video we are gonna see how you can actually download the virtual box so in the roadmap we have seen we require virtual environment and for the virtual environment we are going to see there are two options available actually so one is virtual box so this is the virtual box you can download from here and another is vmware so this is again a vmware so you can download vmware also for this demonstration we are going to use virtualbox so how to download virtualbox simple very easy steps just go to download then choose your host host means the main machine which is window and you can see the downloading has started so wait for a couple of minutes and <coughs> yeah you can see the virtual box then open so you will see this kind of window Just click on next then next then next then yes and stop just wait for some couple of minutes in case if you will see this particular window or this thing just click install this will install all the required packages yeah click on finish yeah see you can see the virtual box has already installed uh, you will not find this Samsung Galaxy and Kali here so just let me remove because um, one second let me remove these two things because I was using virtual box previously and I have installed these two virtual environment for my practical and purposes so yeah you will see this kind of window or interface so let's keep it side and now we need to install dbwa so for that search dbwa vulnerable hub yeah dbwa vuln hub so dbwa application see you can see the date release the first date is the first date really you can see the date release and all the options so here you need to download iso file right we are using virtual box so we need to download iso file click on here just wait for some couple of minutes it's not working i think try on next link no problem the real link so yeah it's see it is going to install now you can see the dvw uh, downloading has been completed so yeah you can see the path so in folder okay. now the next thing is you need to set up dbwa in your virtual environment so for that very first click on new here and you need to provide the name so we will provide the we will write dbwa and you can write anything any name Target web application doesn't matter. Then 
Linux and you can Ubuntu here. You can write Ubuntu here, no problem. You can select Ubuntu here, no problem. Then next, then you can, uh, yeah, it's up to you. You can set up to up to 2G, 2GB. It's up to you. You can set up any memory here, but DVWA it's not any powerful application. So I am taking a something around 800. It will work. And then, yeah, create a virtual hard disk. Select the second option. Then create. Then next. Then next. Yeah, you can change the location size because DBW is very small application. So you can set 20. I think yeah, 20 is sufficient. Create. Yeah. So you can see here DVW. So here you can see we have successfully set up our DVW environment here. But the thing is if you click here start it will not boot up because we have not provided any ISO image here for DVW. So for that you need to first configure some of the things. So go to setting and in the storage check for DVW AVDI and for that go to here and choose a disk file and you need to go to your downloaded where you just downloaded dbwa check this one iso image It is not working. Secondary, choose DVWA ISO image. Yeah, remove this one if you encounter this thing. Then, okay. Yeah, now you can see our DVWA has been set up. And click on start. So you will see a pop up here just click on start and you can see our virtual box is going to start so iso linux debian copyright Good. yeah click on enter then you can see different option here so you can select the install one and it's loading it's getting installing so dvw here for dvw you need, you need to write your admin and password so your user id is admin no uh, DVW. oh sorry sorry it's not password So here you can see yeah, we have successfully opened a DVW so check your address here. So your address is 10.0.2.15. So what you need to do you need to check for this particular address. Dot zero dot 10.0.2.15 2.15 check if you are able to access the web application or not and i think it's not working why let's see no you are not able to access no worries so what you need to do just power of the machine go to settings go to network and here you need to change it to bridge adapter here okay so you need to change bridge adapter here then click on ok then start your machine it's getting started ok 
okay so it's um, working let's see welcome to world now check our IP address so here our IP address you can see here which is 192.168.1.15 so 192.168.1.105 see so this is our dbw application so we will use this particular web application for our demonstration for our exploitation of the vulnerability right so just you need to like see admin user name is admin password see so this is our dbwa web application which is tam vulnerable web application so we will use this particular application for our attacks and for demonstration part as we are not allowed to attack directly on any other web application because it's a illegal problem it's a you can see legal legal thing so we will use this particular application so each time when you need to check for this particular application you need to run your dbwa from virtual box right your dbwa is now running from your virtual environment so if you uh, one second so yeah so if you suppose yeah suppose if you power up this particular machine your dbwa will stop working let's refresh this thing try to open this ip address see this is not working why because we have shut down we have ended our virtual session of dbw here so i hope you understood the operation procedure you understood how you can configure dbw here just i am repeating every step very first you need to uh, go to new then here you need to give any kali you need to give any name here then microsoft linux and 64 then next then next you can uh, check memory as per your and for your requirement and next and next then next then you can again allocate memory as per your needs and requirement and next see this one is created just up now next step is go to setting here and now in the setting go to storage and here you can see dbwa demo so try to take a file here so download it so see if you are not able to set a file here no need to worry just remove this thing and in the empty part click here then if you are not able to see dbwa this thing choose a file then go to the downloaded option downloaded folder and go to the downloads folder in your uh, pc where you just downloaded dbwa from vulnerable hub so click on here and then click ok see and one thing you need to configure also just go to the network and in the network part you need to change to bridge adapter only right and one more thing if you want to configure some other things you can also configure audio storage display system like we are not going to use we are not going to use any floppy thing so you can remove floppy here and usb everything you can configure as per your requirement okay now our dbw is completely set up our dbw setup is completed and i hope you understood the concept here